jealousy wasn't just even, you know, adult cast members. We're talking about jealousy even with the kids and, and, and just people in general. And the thing about jealousy that's such a makes it such a bad cancer is sometimes it can be people that are right up underneath you who you think are your friends. Really, they feel a whole nother way about you. So in the early 90s, the, the phrase hater was not popularly coined till Biggie Diddy. It's a lot more easy to identify something once it becomes popularized to identify. We've had a lot of entitled women of a certain persuasion that have been getting away with false accusations and over-dramatization for decades. And now if you try that ish, you will be called a Karen. So I always, the, the smile you see on my face, the permagrin, is just being able to survive these things and talk about them knowing that it was different. I think the biggest moment for me accepting fame is uh, 1992 NBA All-Star. And this was when Magic was allowed to play in the game after he had come out with HIV. And I'm pulling up in my limo, but some kids saw me and started screaming and going nuts. And they just started rocking my leg. And I remember there were three people that had to go through the kitchen. And that was what the Belvin said. He's like, man, only three people, man, get to come back through here. And he was like, you, Michael Jordan, and that MC Hammer fella. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like, for me, that was really the solidifying moment that was like, whoa, what is this? And then another moment that was actually kind of cool, though, was uh, realizing I could contact people. A producer had used me to get Laker tickets. He invited me to the Laker game, but ultimately when I got to the Laker game, I realized that he had used my name to get these tickets. And I was like, so I can call any publicity department I want if I want to, like, meet somebody? or, And he's like... Yeah, if you have their contact, yeah, sure. And I made a list. Randall Cunningham, Warren Moon, Emmett Smith, Deion Sanders, Bruce Smith, Thurman Thomas. I remember the list like it's yesterday. And I started writing all these dudes letters. And at the time, I had just come out with my Urkel doll. Let me introduce you to the Urkel doll. And I sent an Urkel doll with that letter to all of my favorite sports stars. And I remember for a whole season, it was like every table read. Jaleel, you got packages from the Atlanta Falcons. Jaleel, you got packages from the Philadelphia Eagles. Jaleel, you got packages from the Buffalo Bills. And so that's when I started to understand what stardom was, this reach. But the thing was, again, I had such humble parents that they weren't trying to do a lot of the shadier stuff that people will try to do when they now have access to just open doors, open doors.